this project is about growing food, but this project is much more than just food. This is about growing community. It's about growing humanity. So we are reattaching ourselves to ourselves in this work because we've been dismembered mentally, spiritually, physically. You know, a friend of mine says that you only get correct answers if you ask correct questions. And so if the question that we're asking is, how do we get enough food to eliminate hunger? We'll never get to the real question. The real question is why do we have poverty? Why do we have hunger? Why do we have great disparities in income and access to resources in American society? What we need to understand is that uh, food doesn't exist in a vacuum. Uh, food is the product of a system. It's the product of our history. It's the product of our attitudes toward the land. And while we may think that we've lived in an era of abundance, the fact of the matter is that the cost of that food is much greater than we think it is because we're ignoring the cost taking place to the land, to our water, to our air, and to rural communities. You know, I think what we've lost so much in our society today is that connection. And it's not just a connection with nature, but it's a relationship with nature. And I think we have a lot to learn from indigenous people, peasants from around the world, people who actually produce food for their communities in all parts of the world. We need to relearn some of that because we've lost so much of that. And living on a farm, growing food, emphasizes why I think we need to change the way we eat, change the way we grow food, and change the way we think about agriculture. We looked at regenerative agriculture as the solution, but we did understand that we hadn't done a good job of listening to others. By asking questions and listening, we have been able to get more insight on what regeneration truly is, what the larger context of regeneration is. If young people are not able to be part of the solution, we cannot be able to regenerate Mother Earth. Because at the end of the day, truly, we are all in this together. That is why it is so important that we cooperate and share and learn from each other so we can be able to grow the solutions together. Um, we've always been told that if you take care of the buffalo and the land, and they'll, you know, they'll take care of us. And I think there's just a mirror of their own kind of history with our own as a people. I think just being able to see more and more buffalo grow each year, it just really gives me hope for my own people in terms of our language and, and our culture. I think everyone has a part to play in our food system. And you know, big or small, I think we all have that part to play in bringing about this vision that we have. And I'm, I'm really excited to see where we are in the next generation or two.